All now. right. Let's take a look at this here. It's cool. I like the idea. My initial reaction was that uh, it's twofold, and you're probably gonna you know, guess what it is. It's as a whole, it just feels a bit simple. If I look from the top, it just feels like it's running in one axis. It's a straight thing. Dragon, you know, it's pretty straight here. And then there's a crazy fast camera move that kind of breaks my believability in terms of just the presentation, just a bit funky. This is super cool. I like all of this here. That's cool. Here, I'm not quite buying it anymore, but suddenly the dragon does kind of kind of stops with the with the momentum and just the weight as it goes down. It should be if he jumps, boom, boom, the dragon will go oh, and gets back up here, right? It's, it's the momentum of the creature um, going this way brings the dragon over here as well, dips regain control and then come back over here which in turn you know it's like that's how you will break the whole one axis feel of it that's cool just feels like now we're back into the run cycle of the creature so i think as a whole the main thing just feels repetitive and i think what would be cool to give it a bit of a bit of a you know again it's, it's a pain in the ass i understand i'm just saying ideally what would be really cool is imagine your creature is like that. You don't see the dragon. And then the creature looks over this way behind its back, which varies the cycle a bit. And because of that look, he starts to go boom, 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 boom going a bit more screen left. So you're looking, um, using the screen space a bit more, meaning that the creature ends up, you know, looking again, I can't draw, but you know, looking over this way while running, which in turn, reveals the dragon, right? So you run, he looks over, and because of that, starts moving to the left. That's a reveal of the dragon. And then what you could do is, as the dragon does that, you know, a simple thing where it just have to balls or something, but the dragon go, like have a little flap, flap, raise a bit, like head up and then straight, that's, that's really like, like stretch out and then fire, like just little fireballs or something simple that shoots towards the guy, which means that the creature is then boom, 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 hopping over back this way. Fire goes out, screen left, and then you can see the dragon swooping over here and then correcting and then being on this side. So then that during all of this, the, during all that, you have your camera instead of your camera translation suddenly doing this um, or, you know, whatever it is doing, like, you know, some crazy crazy thing there it would be a gradual move translate so that from the beginning to here you're meaning you're close with the camera sorry and then you slowly slowly get to this distance and what i was saying since he runs away you could time it so that this happens right as the fireball flies away from us dragon is here but it just finished its loop like what the hell and as the, as the creature moves to a screen right, this goes past us. This happens. So the creature, dozer, I think, jumps over. And that way, you know, your guy is not just here. He's kind of coming back over this way. So they kind of meet. So it's a bit more forceful because you got one force going this way, the other force going this way. Boom! They collide. Which means that if he is flying a bit more this way, He's jumping in and he can still hold the head here. It would end up being, boom, this pose would end up being creature a bit more towards us. Dragon head here with a nice curve like that. And then, you know, crazy wings like this and whatever feet. Meaning that um, the dragon went this way, creature went this way. And because of that um, impact, pushes the neck over this way and it gives you that curve. So the butt still continues to go this way and the creature head goes this way because that's where Dozer held it and then that way it would kind of land maybe more around here uh, holding dragon head and have a nice curve. So it's not so flat. Again, you can have, you start having really nice shapes. Wing can be out here and legs, whatever it is. Pop, pop, pop. And then 
once this happens, you know, it's not so staggered like you would have a more of a uh, profile view and, you know, tail and, and uh, one leg up here. And it uses the space a bit more and the creature can be here and then maybe stop and slide and not continue to, to run. You know, so it's not always the same thing. Again, it's a pain in the ass. I totally understand. But it's just as of right now, it's cool. It's definitely a good exercise, and you can you can learn a lot through its complexities. If it was for real, and if it was something for for a movie or something at work that we would look at, that's what I would suggest in terms of complexity. So it's not just a straight line, but you go more. You have a reveal, like I said, and then that move to the right is um, motivated by the fireball coming by screen left. And then again, so that this is not constantly flying straight line towards us. You have those moves and then you get that clash. Boom, this way. This guy, boom, this way. Flying over. Dramatically hitting the ground and then kind of sideways flipping over towards camera. So you got the wings, you know, rolling over. It's basically the roll, but it's a sideways roll, making it just a bit more complex. Anyway. You're probably going, what the hell? But that was just my two cents. As always, feel free to ignore or just pick and choose um, what works for you. All right? Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right? Thank you.